Hello, people of the internet. My name is Rat, and today I'm going to talk about everyone's favorite clickbaiter. Hey, how's it going, guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. Yes, Mr. Boss for the win. The YouTuber who can take even the smallest bit of information and somehow make several 10-minute clickbait videos about it. Now, I know what the common response is to that. Uh, Wombat, your video is 10 minutes as well, and I see ads. You're a hippocrate. First of all, you probably don't see ads. Thanks, YouTube. Love you. Secondly, it's okay to aim for 10 minutes in your video length. It's a good length, not too long, not too short. But you have to have actual content there. You have to show something worth watching. Mr. Boss doesn't. Ever. He is the master of talking a ton, but not really saying anything. He can stretch 3 minutes of video out to 10 minutes like it's no one's business. Many of you who have never watched a Mr. Boss for the Win video may think that I'm exaggerating. But just you wait. You're about to have your mind blown by a cat wombat with sunglasses and a leather jacket. It's not a fursona, it's a mascot. Taking even just a cursory glance at his channel, you can see the steaming hot doo-doo flavored gamer girl bathwater that we're dealing with. The thumbnails and titles are all misleading. They're lies. One of the most common types of videos he does is the what happens if format. What happens if you assist or mislead the lost man in Red Dead Redemption 2? Hidden outcome. This was uploaded recently, in February, over a year after Red Dead Redemption 2's release, and he claims to show a hidden outcome that no one has ever seen before. Right. He shows the event that a lot of you have likely had in Red Dead Redemption 2, where some drunk guy asks you for directions. It's not exactly hidden. First he assists him, and of course, he shows the entire walk to the man's house. He doesn't say a single word. He just walks. Afterwards, he gives the most amazing blow-by-blow -blow commentary on what just happened, like you didn't just watch it. Oh. Ain't nobody got a heart! Well, that was sad. Okay, so relatively a good story. The guy is obviously drunk. He stumbles back to what he thinks is his house, and then he ends up sort of passing out on the front porch. But no harm befalls him. So you pretty much keep him safe. You don't say, Mr. Boss. Really cool. Then he shows the other option of misleading the man. Well, what happens if you mislead the poor guy? Well, this is what occurs. Again, no commentary, just shows it all. And then Ross blesses us once again with his angelic voice, giving what can only be described as the holy grail of recaps. So this poor guy was so drunk, he thought his wife was the horse, and he ends up going up behind the horse and like patting it on the rear, and he ends up getting like kicked. And if you guys have ever seen how strong horses are, like you don't want to get kicked by them. You know what? He's right. All of that did just happen, and horses do kick really hard. Did you guys know the sun also came up this morning? Just thought I'd let you know. So we're five minutes into this video here, and he's already shown everything that happens with that encounter. So how is Mr. Boss going to get out of this bind he's in? How is he gonna hit 10 minutes? Well, he just shows another random encounter where you give a man directions. It's the same thing, once again showing the whole walk with no commentary, and then tells you what you just watched. Alright, so again, another relatively happy ending here. This guy was trying to get to his train, and I guess technically he does, but he doesn't really make it to the train. He just sort of like falls asleep on the track and then ends up throwing up. So again, same story here. Our guy safely made it. And would you look at that? He's past the 10 minute mark. He made it. Time to ramble a bit longer, then wrap up the video. Out of curiosity, I took this video into Sony Vegas and cut out the parts where he just shows the encounters with no commentary. This video would only be four minutes long if he just cut out the pointless walking. And it's only three minutes if you cut out the one minute of rambling he did at the end. That's exactly what I'm talking about when I say that Mr. Boss stretches videos out to hit 10 minutes. And like me, you may be wondering, what was even the point of that video? Those encounters aren't secret, and he didn't show any secret outcome. The video exists simply because Mr. Boss ran out of ideas and needed some more money to pay for his Burger King addiction. 
He's gotta keep those thunder thighs strong somehow. As you can probably imagine, every single one of his What Happens If videos are the exact same. What happens if John kills Dutch during the final mission of Red Dead Redemption 2? Secret ending. Nothing happens. No secret ending. You just fail the mission. That's it. He just farts around with that part of the mission for a while until he hits 10 minutes. He even says that there is secret dialogue, just because there are lines recorded for when you fail the mission. So how about that? We get even more secret lines of dialogue. This time Dutch says, oh, dot, 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 son, dot, dot, dot. And Sadie cries out John before ending up dying. Why do I exist? Just to suffer? What happens if John Marston visits Pinkerton Edgar Ross house in Red Dead Redemption 2? Red Dead Redemption 2. You'll never guess this. Nothing happens. Now let's talk about the obvious. There is no sign of Edgar Ross or his wife here. It took him eight minutes to say that after diddling himself the entire video. It's pretty clear that Mr. Boss is running out of ideas for his content at this point, really reaching for straws for anything to make a video on, even if it's literally nothing. Which isn't too shocking considering he's based his entire channel around two games that have been played to death already. There isn't a whole lot left to show off that hasn't been seen already, but he still needs views, so he has to exaggerate. Also, if you haven't noticed already, Mr. Boss pumps out about two videos every single day so he can milk the maximum amount of revenue out of his channel. This really shows how slapped together and low effort his videos really are. If you can upload twice a day, every day for years, your videos must be the easiest thing in the world to make. Now we get on to the main event, the real cow's teats, the content that Mr. Boss is most known for. The GTA 6 videos. My god, the GTA 6 videos. No other Rockstar game-based YouTuber in this galaxy or any other has made as many GTA 6 videos as this fossilized dino penis has. Rockstar can't fart without Ross swooping over to waft in the fumes and claiming it's proof of GTA 6 coming soon. Random code in Red Dead Redemption 2's game files? GTA 6. Motion capture? GTA 6. New artwork on Rockstar's website? GTA 6. Let's take a look at just one of these videos out of the 400 he has to see if he's onto something with his theories. GTA 6 coming soon according to Insider. Ex Rockstar employee reveals cryptic clues. This is sure to be a slam dunk of a video. I can't wait. So let's begin with a new leak that apparently suggests Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be released soon, or at least announced soon. Every single GTA 6 video that Mr. Boss makes is a leak that suggests that the game is going to be announced soon. And he's been making these videos for years. Maybe this leak will be the leak to end all leaks. Let's find out. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm just as skeptical about GTA 6 leaks that I see appearing on you know, websites like Reddit and that just randomly pop up. Are you though? Because it seems like every time the tiniest mention of GTA 6 comes up anywhere on the internet, no matter how small, there you are with several 10 minute long videos on it. It doesn't seem like you're all that skeptical. But this one's interesting because it doesn't necessarily have to do with a wish list, but it's someone saying that the game is going to be revealed soon. How in the world of Stuart Little's golden crispy sack does that make this more interesting than any other leak? 99% of the leaks are people saying it's going to be announced soon, with zero evidence. So it comes from a user, listen here ya donkey, who posted this on the GTA 6 subreddit the other day. Ah uh, yes, the GTA 6 subreddit. That's the last place I would expect a fake leak about GTA 6 coming out. Good job finding this one, Mr. Boss. I'm sold now. They said Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to revealed soon. I'm sure they meant going to be revealed soon. And they said a person I trust that is involved in clearing the licensing for music used in movies and sometimes video game trailers informed me this afternoon that her company had to get a rap song cleared called Black Locks by the rapper Young Dolph for Rockstar Games. Does this donkey kickflipper person provide any evidence for this claim? Only the instrumental is being used, as far as I know. From her understanding, companies only reach out to her for clearance less than a month 
before the release of the trailer to the public. So I imagine we will finally get to see a new game. Whoa, so that's interesting. I've seen rolls of wet, soggy toilet paper that were more interesting than that Reddit post, Mr. Cheeks for the win. This is what you thought warranted a 10 minute video with this title. A six sentence Reddit post from some random wiener claiming that someone they trust told them that Rockstar licensed a new song, so that must mean a new game trailer is coming soon. Not to mention, it's on a GTA 6 subreddit of all places, which likely has all kinds of fake leaks. You are the complete opposite of the bee's knees, Mr. Boss. At first I was kind of skeptical about this, and one of the reasons I'm always skeptical about leaks posted on Reddit is whenever you like check Check out the account of the user. They're always created like the day before they decide to post or it's a brand new account. This guy not only has had his account for over a year and has a verified email address. Oh, good point, Mr. Airsoft. I was skeptical myself until you brought that up. Now that I know his account isn't brand new and that he has a verified email, I'm sold. Bring on that GTA 6 trailer, Rockstar. But remember, he's talking about the music scene here. If we just take a look at this guy's post and what he comments on, it's usually all about music and hip-hop in general. In fact, going back multiple years, this guy is very much involved in the, you know, hip-hop and music community. So? That means diddly dick. That doesn't mean that his leak is suddenly credible because he's into music. And remember, he only made this post about GTA 6 a couple of days ago. So I actually am inclined to believe this guy that he does have a source or a contact that does work in the music licensing business and that Rockstar Games did reach out to them. Zero evidence, but you believe him just going off of his word and the fact that his account is a year old and the post is recent. Makes sense. It really doesn't matter if Mr. Boss actually believes the leak, which I doubt he actually does. It's content. He'll make a GTA 6 confirmed video off of anything. Here, I'll test it myself. Alright, there we go. Now we wait. However, playing devil's advocate here, there's also a chance it could be for something other than Grand Theft Auto 6. There's only two possibilities here. It's either for Grand Theft Auto 6, which would be super cool, or it's for something related to GTA 5, more likely Grand Theft Auto Online. If anything, yes, that is what it would be for. I highly doubt that GTA 6 is coming anytime soon. If they are making a trailer, it's for their cash cow GTA Online. I find it funny how Mr. Boss goes from saying that the leak is credible and that he believes it's going to be GTA 6, to them turning around and trying to debunk it. You'll find that in most of his GTA 6 videos, Mr. Boss debunks whatever leak or rumor he is showing in the video. But that doesn't stop him from clickbaiting that the game is confirmed anyway because views. He goes on for three minutes about some other possible things this new licensed music could actually be for that isn't GTA 6. Then he moves on to the next random thing that he thinks means the game could be announced soon. Now moving on to the next topic we're going to be talking about today. Remember that ex Rockstar Games artist Stephen Bliss that we talked about last week? How he uploaded some personal photos of artwork that he's created that looked very similar to GTA inspired art and a lot of people thought that this was him teasing what was going to be coming next from Rockstar and from GTA 6. Well if he's an ex-Rockstar artist it would make sense that some of his personal art is inspired by GTA. So? Steven actually posted another very interesting image. Well what's interesting is when he originally posted this photo Take a look at what the caption was. It says, what countries are these plants, animals, and insects indigenous to? And then one of the hashtags was clues and then hashtag Rockstar Games. I highly doubt that people who quit working for a gaming company are kept in the loop on the ongoing projects of the company. Even if you argue GTA 6 may have been in development while he was still there, I really doubt that he would leak the next game like this. Remember, one of the most prominent leaks, or one of the more reputable ones that we've seen so far, is Project Americas, or at least codename Project Americas, where Grand Theft Auto 6 is not only going to be taking place in Vice City, but you're going to be traveling to areas like South America, and it's going to involve a female protagonist releasing in 2022. We've covered the Project America leaks 
uh, many times in the past. Oh, trust me. I remember, Mr. Boss, with such classic videos like GTA 6 Project America's Confirmed, Female Protagonist, Vice City, Release Year, and Multiple Locations, with a thumbnail showing a thick booty to reel in the embryos that watch your videos. All of the so-called evidence of Project America's is dookie. A piece of text in Red Dead Redemption 2's game files that says Misc America's script stats, which means nothing. And the evidence of a female lead is, as Mr. Boss puts it, dicey. A female lead character. Now, the details on this are still a little bit dicey. And he gives zero actual evidence or reasoning for why there will be a female main character. He just says it's rumored. Nice. The GTA America's rumor is extremely weak. That's my point. Back to the main video. So that was kind of an interesting post, and a lot of people were like, uh, what's going on here? Is this Steven just sort of trolling because... It's that one. It's most definitely that one. What's interesting is just a couple of hours later, he completely changed the description. And now he removed the what country are these plants, animals, and insects indigenous to, and also removed the clues hashtag. If you were trolling people into getting hyped about your art and your Instagram account thinking it's a hint to GTA 6, wouldn't you want to make it more believable by removing the hint? Therefore bringing more attention to it and making people think you're trying to hide something. All supposed leaks end up being removed or hidden at some point. It's not proof of him really leaking anything. Mr. Boss goes on to say that this logo was actually created for a competition back in 2011 for renowned UK men's magazine Esquire. Rockstar took part in this competition and chose to show the decay of beautiful things, hence the bugs. Steven himself was the one who made the art, and that's what this image is. So, if Steven was trying to give us a hint, the hint would have been merely a coincidence, because this was not a new logo created you know, any time ago. It was created back in 2011. I mean, at that time, GTA 5 wasn't even announced or out yet. So why would this post be directly related to GTA 6? There he goes again, completely debunking the rumor after spending most of the video waffling on about how it could be a legit confirmation of GTA 6. Beautiful. Yes, Mr. Boss, it's most likely that Steven is trolling for attention. That wraps up this dookie clickbait video. All of his GTA 6 videos follow the same pattern. Clickbait title and thumbnail saying GTA 6 is confirmed. Then about 8 to 9 minutes of talking about very weak leaks and rumors with little to no evidence to them. Then near the end, he debunks the really weak rumors and leaks and says that GTA 6 is likely not confirmed yet. As if we all didn't already know that. Anyways, that's going to be all for this video. Mr. Boss's videos are extremely pointless and not worth your time. They're all pretty much the same and they're purely designed for advertisements. Thank you for watching and have a good one. A huge thank you to my Patreon sponsors and channel members. Your support means the world to me. Also, you should watch some of my other videos. Come on, you know you want to deep down in the core of your soul.